um, I feel so honored to be able to have represented this country and this federation for so many years. Um, it's truly been the greatest thing that I've ever done. The U.S. women's national team is working to become the first nation to win three consecutive World Cups a feat no men's team anywhere in the world has yet to accomplish. Across the country, millions of people are dealing with triple-digit temperatures with no sign of relief in sight. Out west, red flag warnings are forcing residents to brace for more devastating wildfires that expose millions of people, including us right here in the Miami Valley, to those dangerous air conditions. Many scientists are blaming climate change as people in Phoenix have not seen a day below 110 degrees yet this month. Experts say everyone can help cool the planet by using less gas, energy, and water. What well, is specialist Nick Dunn joins us now with your Storm Center 7 forecast back here at home. Uh, Nick, we've had some very, very dry May and June, but mm -hmm. July, it just seems like it hasn't stopped raining yet. I know, it's been today included. I mean, we had a lot of rain out there today. So let's take a look at some of those stats. So May, as you recall, was the eighth driest May here in Dayton. And we still were a little bit below normal for June. In fact, over an inch below normal. But now let's look at July. As you can see, we are already two inches above normal for where we should be for this time of the month of July. We've already seen as much rain for the whole month of July and through the first few days than we did for the entire month of June. So we're certainly making up for that. And that's helping to improve our drought conditions across the Miami Valley. As you can see, portions of the Miami Valley have even completely erased the abnormally dry conditions. From about Dayton South, we could still use some more rain. And we still have, we have a few chances coming up over the next several days. Nothing for the rest of tonight for most of us and not even tomorrow as well. But right now outside, over the gym stage, we look from a weather camera network in Dayton. It is 73 degrees and mostly cloudy. It was a pretty nice sunset out there as well. Dew points currently sitting in the mid-60s still, so it's a bit on the muggy side. Not much of a wind out there right now. Live Doppler 7 still tracking some rain off to our east. In fact, we had a nice thunderstorm in Clinton County about an hour ago. That has since dissipated. We're looking at 72 in Troy, 69 in Sydney, and 72 in Springboro. Satellite radar shows the back edge of the cloud cover getting a little closer to the Miami Valley. We'll still deal with some clouds tonight and even first thing tomorrow morning as well. But most of the rain continues to move away from the Miami Valley, which is good news. Now, tomorrow, the Dayton Dragons have a daytime game. Yes, a daytime game at 105 with the Great Lakes Loons. 75 degrees at first pitch and 79 at the end of the game. It really doesn't get much better than that, if you ask me. Those temperatures are actually below normal for this time of the year. Let's look at future cast for tonight. Some clouds still lingering around and, again, maybe a stray shower, but I really think a lot of that is going to continue to dissipate first thing in the morning. few clouds left over, and look at this in the afternoon. Lots of sunshine by lunchtime. We're already in the mid-70s, and I think we get just warm enough to get to 80 degrees tomorrow, and then we're going to cool off pretty nice for us as we head into Sunday night. And look at this. A few spots this time tomorrow night in the 50s. Maybe a good night to open up the windows and turn off the air conditioner and give it a break. Might not be a bad idea whatsoever. Looking at seven-day forecast, I did bump, uh, bump it up to 80 tomorrow. Maybe a stray shower far southeast, but really I think a lot of us are going to be dry tomorrow. Monday and Tuesday looking warmer and sunny with highs in the middle 80s. Wednesday's our next rain chance, and that's going to be later into Wednesday. Better chances for rain and storms Thursday through Saturday. I didn't know anything about HPV virus, and I didn't know that it caused you know, throughout that cancer. Um